Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another PvP build, this time with my Stamina Dragon Knight, but a tank build. Requested and uploaded only for you guys. There's Monster Set, Blood Spawn, we need the ulti regen for Battle Roar, our DK passive which gives resources back when we activate an ultimate. On the body, the most important set for this setup leeching plate. The healing done is insane with this set but keep in mind you have to be in close area fights like in the video in the gameplay video behind crates towers just in tiny gaps otherwise it will not work. The second benefit of the set is it deals poison damage. Poison damage procs combustion the DK passive which gives you a ton of stamina back. You stand in perma block and during block you regain stamina back. Pretty pretty damn strong the set. Use it guys. The other 5 set piece bonus is Bahara's Curse. Same stuff here. You have to be in close corner in gaps in behind crates, towers, that kind of stuff. Otherwise it will not proc multiple targets. It will be not worth it then. This tank setup is specifically done for close corner fights. The second setup is a more open field setup with a sealed its quest on the body and the second 5 set piece bonus Dandric Trickery. This set here is a craftable set and it's a pure diamond for this build. It can proc major heroism, major manding, major vitality, major protection and major expedition which is also, also kind of nice but major heroism if it procs major heroism you can basically use the sword and board old spare wall almost on cooldown it's insane downside of the setup you don't have leeching plate so combustion will not proc you will have some sustain issues but in most of the cases it's still fine trades full sturdy I mean it's a perma block build so we need full sturdy and on the jewelry full infused with block cost reduction on the front bar a stamina absorb glyph and on the back bar the escapist poisons both weapons indecisive for extra ulti region glyphs full max hp on the body and uh, on the shield too quick look on the skills front bar defensive stance I rarely use the skill, it's more for the passive benefit. While you have equipped the shield, the amount of damage you can block is increased by 10% and the block cost reduction of 10%, pretty nice. Then Heroic Slash for minor maim and minor heroism, so a little bit more of ulti region. Cauterize our heal, then hardened armor or resistance buff, deep thoughts for sustain. But keep in mind you can get bashed if you're not CC immune. Then spare wall our ultimate on the back bar. Again defensive stance for the passive benefit. Fragmented shield for major manding another 16% more healing done. Then resolving vigor our hot. Green dragon blood. This got buffed a bit. It's a pretty strong burst here now. I always use it if I'm trouble, if I'm low HP to Insta burst here myself. And it gives minor vitality too, by the way, 8% more healing received. Then immovable, the heavy armor skill, where is it here? Which uh, mitigate more damage if you block. Alternative, you could go with Blood Altar here for minor lifesteal. As ultimate, the Temple Guard for minor protection. It's also only for, for the passive benefit. I rarely use this ultimate. As race, I am not for extra resistance and the ulti region. Imperial is fine too. As Mundus Stone, the Lord Mundus for extra HP. And as buff food, the Sugar Scouts, which gives max HP, stamina, magicka, and a little bit of health recovery. Potions, the normal tricep potions with HP, magicka, and stamina. Sometimes the physical resistance potions too. Quick look on the CPs. The blue ones are unassailable. Focused Manding for 10% extra healing. Do the 3 buff and resilience. Red ones are rejuvenation for sustain. Juggernaut, Slippery 
and on guard for another 10% block mitigation. Attribute points by the way, 35 in health and 29 in stamina. That's the end of another PvP build video, if you want to see the gameplay footage I will link it down below in the description. Don't forget to sub my channel, over 80% are still subbed, do me the favor, click on this red juicy button. I would really appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!